Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, John Schieber subbing in for Jordan Crook. I'm here with Craig Chesla, the CEO of Tactus. The Wistron partnership first, what does that enable y'all to do and, and sort of where do you see things going now that that partnership sure. is in place? Yeah, I mean, this is a very important partnership for us. Mm -hmm. uh, and Wistron are really coming in as a strategic investor and strategic manufacturing partner. Our, at Tactus, our, our focus has been on developing this new type of paddle technology mm -hmm. that allows us this dynamically tactile surface. But we, we've we've set out to be a set, what's called fabless. We're not going to build a Tactus factory. Right. So getting this in, in our plan this year to bring this to market, manufacturing partner was an, an essential element of that. And we've mm. been working now with Wistron for several quarters, and we've just kind of cemented the, the next stage of our relationship by by doing this. So our first product is going to be a, an accessory for for the iPad Mini, uh -huh. and and this this prototype that, that I've got here. Uh, it's the, pa the Tactus panel technology is sitting on front very much like a screen protector. It's mm -hmm. in a case and most tablets, uh, most tablet owners have, have a case. And what we're doing here is we're basically improving the, the, use, the use case or the yeah. usability of this with the Tactus surface. So rather than typing on a flat surface, we're able to cha change the shape of the surface to provide what we call these finger guides. All right, let's do this magic again. So why don't you let me hold this? How exactly does this work? What, is there just a knob that you press on the side? Yeah, so this one, we actually tested this back at CES, right. where we, what we wanted to do is, is to, say, to present to the consumer, saying, look, here, here's an opportunity for you to have improved usability, right. build into the device a very, very slim form factor, two and a half millimeters mm -hmm. added, but requiring no additional power. So there's no Bluetooth, there's no ex accessory to charge. Right. But what you do is you, you get improved usability. In fact, we just mm -hmm. completed our first usability trial and we thought two out of three consumers prefer typing on the Tactus solution versus a regular screen. Mm -hmm. Can you pop it out and, and sort of show me what's going on? Sure, so our panel, the Tactus panels across the entire screen looks and behaves like a normal touch screen. Right. Uh, in a case where you want to type, then you're able to activate the Tactus button simply by this little slider on the side. Okay. So rather than having to deal with the, keeping the accessory charge, this one can be manually activated. Okay. We're also working on an, an electrical version, but we've, we found very good response on, on bringing this to market first, yep. particularly because it's very thin and very light. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got these, what we call finger guides, that allows you to type with, with improved accuracy and speed mm -hmm. with, with the uh, Tactus. And system. when is that going to be shipping? That'll be shipping later this year. We're working with uh, a major accessory brand on, on bringing this to market. So mm -hmm. we will be, we provide the, pa the, the panel portion of this along with where Wistron is the manufacturing partner. Now, um, y'all raised some money recently in January. Can you um, yeah. elaborate a little bit on that round? So sure. When we, when we first reported on it, we only had Tom Vest and I think Ray Yo-Yo as one of your partners. That's right. So who else is involved in the round and how much did y'all wind up raising? Right, so we, so this, this the Series B, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so far, it's closed. We've closed 30 and a half million in, right. the, in the Series B. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Tom Vest was a lead investor, and we've got two new strategic investors, which is uh, Ryoyo, mm -hmm. uh, the, our Japanese rep and distributor that we've previously announced, and then obviously Wistron coming into this round. We've got some other financials and one other strategic, but they they don't want to be sort of named publicly. But mm -hmm. but that's the Series B to date has been 13 and a half million. So that's a very big growth for us. Our yeah. Series A that we did originally in 2011 was six million. And what are y'all going to be doing with the money? Where is that going? Well, really, it's about taking the prototype and and getting into production, so right. scaling up the production. We've got a lot of different markets that we're serving. Uh, in addition to seeing tremendous opportunity in accessories, and this is not we're not just going to do iPad Minis. We're going to do iPads, Galaxy, and Nexus devices. Mm. We also have the integrated devices that right. we're bringing to market, and, and that's spanning smartphones, tablets, and, and laptops. Will you work with every device? So any Android, any yep. iPad, any tablet. Right. So for for any of these devices, we've we've been working closely with a lot of leading OEMs right. in the space for some time, and working with them on integrating these solutions. So mm -hmm. we're at the point now where we've proven out a lot of the key performance metrics. Now it's about the integration, and then the Wistron partnership really provides a very clear path to production for all the OEMs. And how did you come up with the idea for this magic? <laughs> um, where where did the where did you sort of generate? Yeah, I mean, how did you come up with it? What where did uh, it start? So the the Origins of Tactus, and I, I'm one of the founders along with our CTO. The idea for Tactus that, that I had um, five years ago was when the iPhone had come out. And mm. I was thinking about the, the iPhone one Saturday afternoon, and the Blackberry that I owned at the time said, well, I, I, great phone, but I couldn't type on it. Yeah. <laughs> and I had this aha moment of this microfluidic technology. How about you use that to right. solve this problem? And that was really the genesis of Tactus. And then from there, we started building the company. What were you doing before Tactus? Where were you at? So I've, I, my background, I, my background's in physics and optics. Right. I did 10 years of fiber optic devices, so uh -huh. running teams, developing laser products and other products for communications. 
Huh. A lot of experience in developing optical hardware products for the last 10 years. And so now that you have the, the Wistron partnership, you've got the money in place, mm -hmm. what's the next step for Tactus? Where do you all go from here? It's really getting these products into the hands of, of consumers. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the big next milestone. Qualify the factory, ship the product, and then start deploying it across multiple markets and devices. And y'all will be shipping, you said, with the um, the uh, attachment in when? In, in later Q4, this year? yeah, we expect it to be Q4 that will be shipping. And, and the actual integrated devices, when will those go? That will be, should be first half of next year. Beyond just the basic touch screen or, or sort mm -hmm. of um, raised keys that y'all have now, are there other products that y'all y'all are working on? Anything else that's in in, in your head for uh, for bringing to market? Well, we've seen since we st first started talking publicly about what we do at Tactus and sort of doing demos, we've seen interest across almost every market where there's a touchscreen in yeah. use today. We've seen interest. Yeah. Um, we're obviously a small team, so we're very focused on what we think is where the greatest demand is, and that's around mobile computing. We also see a lot of demand in, in actually the automotive market. So there's a lot of car, a lot of cars now shipping with touchscreens, but mm -hmm. that creates a, an issue around driver distraction. Right. By making that surface dynamically tactile, you're able to solve that huh. uh, problem. So that, but the the design cycle for cars is is a lot longer than right. the consumer devices. So that. I'm, are you talking to any automakers oh, yeah. now? We Which are. ones? I can't name them. Oh, <laughs> come on. Let's break some news, my friend. They want to keep their plans under wraps, but we've we've seen a lot of interest in the auto space for um, for for solving that driver distraction issue. Thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate it, sir. And uh, it's very much a pleasure to meet you. My pleasure. Yeah, and my pleasure. Thank you so here. much for the time. Yeah, Cheers. Appreciate it. Have a thank good you. One.